Hey folks, I know you're probably looking for more KA24DE Turbo goodness, but I've been going from one to another car and have not gotten back to the Altima. This dashboard came out of a 2000, um, wow, 1986 Chrysler Laser XT Turbo. Um, none of the gauges worked. And when I took it apart to find out why, I found out it was mostly rotten plastic and bad circuitry, and there just wasn't anything to fix. Um, I, th I thought about replacing it, but the problem with that is any replacements are going to be also 40-year-old dashboards and probably just won't last. So I wanted to go with an LCD setup, and this is the user interface part of it. Um, for now, I'm just using this... Uh, fairly cheap touch screen you know it's it's just an hdmi usb powered touch screen it, it's not particular to usb i'm sorry particular to um, raspberry pi or anything like that but i had it and it fits i've ordered a different screen that i'm going to use that should fit a little bit more neatly inside of this bezel and i'll try and make it nice and pretty probably cut the plastic to make it all fit so here's the uh here's the interesting wiring part so from the header that goes to the turn signals and so forth, um, there's also an ex there, there's also an ignition on source, and the ignition on goes to a couple other circuit boards in the dashboard, and uh, I'm just using it to go down to a five volt converter. Five volt is going into this IDE cable, and I took pins. Um, I think it was. Uh, two and four for five volts plus, six and nine for ground. I just used two grounds just to, to balance it out. Um, and then also pin one is 3.3 and it's going out to this little, uh, I think it's called Neo 6M um, serial uh, GPS module. So what I'm going to do is try and make this component self-sufficient where it can at least show the speed of the vehicle, left turn signal, right turn signal, brake light, check engine light, low oil pressure light, and high beam light. Um, that should be enough for this just to function and, and be able to drive. On the other side of the vehicle, I have a Raspberry Pi Pico, which, unless I've lost it, um, well, should be around here. <laughs> what I was about to say is it's very small, and uh, it's so small I, I think I've misplaced it. But it's going to go in the engine bay, and it's going to hook up to various sensors like the um, uh, engine temperature sensor, the oil pressure sensor, uh, the uh, crank, what would be called the crank position sensor or cam position sensor or the, uh, in this case, the Hall Effect pickup coil, um, battery, and, uh, you know, various other sensors so that I can have a much more sophisticated dashboard. And that's going to be connected with just the Raspberry Pi, and the Pi is going to have a single line, the Pi, the Pi Pico 2 is going to have a single line that goes in to communicate to the dashboard. So, I'm going to try to get all this stuff taped and glued together for now. I know it's not best for signal, but I'm going to just use some masking tape to temporarily hold the module. I'm going to use a little drop of weather strip adhesive to, to hold it in place. And um, I'll see if I can get some code that works on that. I don't see why I can't at least make a text box that shows my miles per hour. <laughs> it's going to look pretty goofy. Um, but you know, at least I'll have that. So this is a, a bit bigger of a, of a project than I usually take on, but I didn't see any single part of it that looked like I couldn't do it. So I figured I'd document it for you.